So we want to prove that it's divisible by 9. That's what we're going to be doing. So starting with step 1, as usual, we're going to show it's true for n equals to 1. So sub in n equals to 1, just into the whole thing, just like that, which you'll get as 36. And we know that 36 is 9 times 4, which is definitely divisible by 9. So therefore, it's true for n equals to 1. Now, step 2, our assumption, assume that the statement is true for n equals to k. So replace all your n's with k and make it equal to 9 times some number, in this case m. It's divisible by 9, it's a multiple of 9, so that's why I did it 9 times some number. And now we'll do step 3. So our assumption is over here, and we'll show it's true for n equals to k plus 1. So we're going to put all the n's as k plus 1. So this k will become k plus 1 cubed. This k will be k plus 1 plus 1, so k plus 2 cubed, and k plus 3 cubed which is going to be also divisible by 9. We want to prove that it's divisible by 9. So I'm going to make it equal to 9 times some integer p. Starting from our left hand side, which is just this, we're going to try to link it with our assumption. So what I'm doing next is this, and you can see that this part here is this part here, which is our assumption, which is part of the assumption, isn't it? So to get that part, I can move k cubed over to this side, making it 9m minus k cubed, right? So this is 9m minus k cubed, which I put over here. Okay, so that's how I utilize the assumption. So now I'm going to expand and simplify. So I'm going to expand this out like this. So I'm pretty sure you guys all know how to expand out your cubics. This is how I expanded it out. And we know that this cancels out. So the only thing that's left is 9m, 9k squared, 27k and 27. And I see that they're all divisible by 9, so I can take 9 out. It's a common factor, and this is what's left inside the brackets. We know that m is a positive integer, so no matter what I add, it's going to be remain positive and it's going to be an integer. So therefore, I can clearly say that it's divisible by 9. And therefore, it's true for n equals to k. Therefore, it's true for n equals to k plus 1. It's true for n equals to n is greater or equal to 1 by the use of our induction.